Hi, I'm Kelsey Mays for Cars.com, and we're here at the 2013 Detroit Auto Show checking out the updated Jeep Grand Cherokee. Been a lot of updates for the 2014 model year on this vehicle, which now comes with an available diesel V6 that Jeep says is good for around an EPA 30 miles per gallon highway. On the other end is the 470 horsepower SRT Grand Cherokee, whose mileage you didn't really care about in the first place. Let's check them out. The big styling changes up front include uh, redesigned headlights with LED accents here. They're kind of squintier than before. Part of that's just because they added some black plastic around the housing. Kind of doesn't look great there. Get around back, there's restyled tail lights. A lot more on the inside. Let's check it out. Big news on the inside is right at the center of the dashboard where there's been redesigned center controls here, a redesigned cluster of both instruments and a center screen here. This is Chrysler's 8.4 inch Uconnect touch screen. Uh, works very quickly, which we like compared to some other competing touch screens on the market. There's also a seven inch display here in the center between two uh, analog gauges. It can show things like steering angle and wheel articulation Pretty cool stuff for a vehicle that's meant for a lot of off-roading. Don't find too many cars with real leather-wrapped dashboards these days. A lot of cars have kind of imitation leather or simulated stitching up here. The real deal in the Grand Cherokee Jeep says, which is a nice thing. One thing we don't like so much is the new shifter. This is an electronic shifter. It's kind of the same style as you get in uh, Jeep parent Chrysler's uh, full-size cars, the 300, the Dodge Charger. Um, you just kind of pull it electronically into gear, doesn't have a very good tactile feel to it. In the large sedans, Chrysler says it did improve packaging, it was a smaller thing to place in here, helped out with some of the spacing, maybe it does the same thing here. The back seat has reasonable room, it doesn't go forward and backward, but it does recline uh, 24 degrees in total, Jeep says. You put it all the way back and it's a pretty good angle for uh, falling asleep back here. But I can't do that because i got to show you the rest of this video. Still pretty strong capabilities for this vehicle, up to 11.3 inches of maximum ground clearance and 7,400 pounds of towing capacity, pretty good figures there. Gas mileage improves thanks to a new 8-speed automatic transmission in the gasoline V6 that raises highway mileage up to 25 miles per gallon in EPA highway ratings, Jeep estimates. Pretty competitive with other mid-size SUVs, so it doesn't leapfrog anyone. If you really want better mileage, that's what the diesel is for. Check it out when the Grand Cherokee goes on sale later on this year.